Hi, I'm Hal Meeks, and I'm here to talk about an exciting new line of products from Glentech Corporation. Products designed to take amateur radio remote control and RF monitoring to a new level. I'll be talking about a new, reliable, and simplified method of operating on your radio station over the Internet. I'll be talking about ways to eliminate unreliable PC computers from the control loops of remote stations. But first, let's talk about the fun you can have by setting up and remotely controlling your amateur radio station. You might think that Internet control is all about that mountaintop site at your cabin at 10,000 feet or operating that antenna farm that is the envy of all your friends and the scourge of all your neighbors. If you have that personal mountaintop, consider yourself lucky. You probably have all the technical expertise available to you to make this happen already, but this is a story about Internet remoting for the rest of us. Internet remoting is all about casual operating. You will be able to operate in comfort and with full station control from anywhere in your own home without being tethered to your radio. Internet remoting is all about operating your home station from, uh, we'll say, New Jersey, or your antenna-restricted condominium in Florida, and rag-chewing with your more climate-challenged friends. If you're a serious contester or DX chaser, you know that speed is paramount. Speed to pounce at just the right second. Speed and agility to frequency hop without noticeable delays. But what if you're not there? Can you do this over the Internet? Yes, you can have it all and still keep your station ready for live operation. The most typical way of Internet remote control is to create a link from computer to computer. In fact, Windows XP Pro and Vista include software that allows you remotely controlling a desktop computer over the Internet. All you need to do is locally set up your station for computer control and link to that computer using the embedded Windows software. But this method is fraught with peer-to-peer -peer latency, delays, and frustratingly slow screen redraws. You can certainly get it to work, and many have. But you won't get that radio feeling when operating your station through this peer-to-peer -peer molasses. And if you've ever had your computer crash or lock up on you, well, imagine your frustration if you're thousands of miles away. You only get so many calls to your friends to go over to your house and reboot your computer before they stop answering your calls totally. So, what's the solution? Eliminate the PC from the direct control loop, of course. By doing that, you eliminate any possibility of your losing control when your remote computer goes bonkers. You get rid of those slow and irritating remote screen redraws. You regain the speed and agility you're used to when operating your radio directly. You lock out the possibility of hackers getting into your computer system because you had to leave an access port open 24-7 and you gain in much-needed reliability of operation and redundancy of your control systems. So, how do you do that? With the simple addition of Glentech's new RTE adapter. You may ask, what does RTE stand for? It stands for Radio to Ethernet, and it connects your radio directly to the Ethernet Internet without going through an intervening control computer at a remote location. Yes, that's what I said, and it bears repeating. Connect and control your radio directly via the Ethernet without going through a remote PC. Not only does this allow direct and reliable connections, the RTE adds software control of push-to-talk features with a three-minute timeout timer in case of lockups. It can automatically turn your radio on and off upon detection or loss of Ethernet communications. For fail-safe radio operations, RTE has two additional independent and isolated outputs to control other parts of your station environment. You can use one to remotely reboot a PC, for example. RTE greatly reduces the system complexity that comes with trying to get 
two computers to work reliably with one another when miles apart. And finally, it brings you speed, reliability, and much needed control redundancy. Let me show you what this little card can do. First, the RTE gives you full and real-time control of all controllable radio functions without going through your PC. I say controllable, since this depends on your particular radio. But RTE will deliver speed and simplicity of the control loop. You may want to still use your PC to return and send audio. For example, Skype is a free service that can give excellent audio quality along with video features. But the RTE will allow you to maintain control and remotely reboot your PC when, not if, it becomes necessary. But as I mentioned before, what happens if you lose your internet connection suddenly while you're keyed down on a distant two-meter repeater and you're 1,000 miles away in some hotel room? Your RTE can even automatically turn off your station power when it loses its IP connection and save your relationships back home. In fact, this feature is so useful that you'll use it to control your power supplies and automatically turn on your station when you first access it. It will automatically turn off when you disconnect. But wait, doesn't the FCC require a three-minute timer in case of lockups? The RTE includes a special three-minute timer on its push-to-talk feature. Like a repeater's timeout feature, it resets when the PTT lead is cleared. This keeps you completely legal. So, how does this work? The radio to Ethernet adapters include a serial server to convert IP signals into serial data, a converter directly to the ICOM CI5 protocol, or RS-232 for Kenwood and Yesu, an isolated serial activity monitor that can be used to control the radio power source, code-activated PTT lead, optically isolated, code-activated PC reboot lead, also optically isolated. And there's one more thing. Another optically isolated auxiliary output is available to control even more stuff. Back in your hotel room, you're just running your choice of rig control software. The RTE will run with the software you've always used since it's software agnostic. We provide you with software that runs in the background that will fool your rig control program into thinking it's connected directly to the radio. In reality, all the data will be sent to your radio's IP address. But to you, it will be completely transparent, like you're sitting there. Controlling the outputs and PTT features is as simple as adding some buttons on your rig control program that sends out the RTE commands. Well, thank you for listening. When you're ready, Glenn Tech can help you with many other controls and monitors for your station. For example, you can remotely watch your RF output power, antenna SWR, or control an antenna rotator. Using truly state-of-the-art technology, you never need to be away from operating your radio again, anywhere in the world. Enjoy, and happy remoting.